Hey guys! Okay, so it's Monday. I decided I would make the video a little bit different this time. And I should be writing a 10 page paper on Parsifal, but I'm not. Because I want to tell you what went down on Saturday because it was fun. So, I get into the city at like midnight, and Jess is there to pick me up. And, um, I'd only met Jess once, uh, before. <laughs> before Saturday, but, um, but she was a ton of fun. We, like, clicked instantly. And, um, sorry, I do that every once in a while. Just, anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so we immediately go on a scavenger hunt for the New York Times, because Sutton got an amazing review, uh, from the guy who apparently, like, is the theater guy. Like, his reviews can either make or break a show and his totally made anything goes and we were like ecstatic plus it's got a giant picture of Sutton and so we find a newsstand that has him because we have to get it like that day because they'll be gone tomorrow and um <laughs> we have him laminated at the FedEx place and because we're cool like that <laughs> and um we walk back to Queens which is a really long walk so, <laughs> we get, um, oh, well, let me, let me read you some of the review, because it's really, really awesome. And yes, it's on my wall now. I'll explain the post-it notes in a minute. Okay. So, this is my favorite part. It says, Foster has the voice of a trumpet and a big gleaming presence that floods the house. When she leads the show-stopping Blow Gabriel Blow, you figure that if no horn-tooting archangel appears, it's only because he's afraid of the competition. Yeah. That's awesome. That's my favorite number in the show also. So, And then Jess's favorite part was down here. It's Miss Foster who leads these numbers, both as a singer and a dancer, and her triple mastery of words, music, and moves is unmatched by any performer on Broadway at the moment. It is not just that she nails every step, note, and joke, it's the attitude with which she does so. An aw shucks kind of casualness coupled with a dizzy <laughs> exhibitionist delight. Yeah! So Ben Brantley really liked Sutton Foster, and that's really exciting. So, um... We get back to Queens, and it's like 2.30 in the morning, and our feet are killing us, and we want to leave by 7.30 so that we can get to the theater really early, so we're like, okay, guess we're only getting four hours of sleep tonight. So, um, we go to sleep, wake up, and, um, oh, we post-it noted the review, as you can see, because Sutton doesn't like to read reviews, she would just rather, like, do her work you know, let things pan out from there. And so we were planning on showing these to Sutton when we meet her at the, sh at the stage door, but we're like, well, we don't want her to, like, feel offended by us showing her review. So we posted and noted them and wrote our own little message. We get to the theater at 8.15. We're already eighth in line. And, um, <clears throat> it's ridiculous. So we're waiting and waiting, and, uh, this guy comes up, and it turns out that he's a newspaper publisher and a guy, like, he's, um, like a producer on a radio station. Here, I have his card here. But, um, yeah, producer and host of a radio station. So, they're doing this exib, like, they're doing this little segment on rush tickets, and since we were waiting in line for rush tickets, he took our picture under the marquee, and we're gonna be in a newspaper on Wednesday. And he, like, got us a radio interview, which was, like, cool. And, um, and yeah, he's, he's legitimate in focus. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, so that's cool. And I'm going to try to record it, because how often are you on the radio, you know? And, um, so the box office opens at 10 o'clock, and the guy comes out and says, we have one ticket left for the entire weekend. Like, are you kidding me? So we can't go see the show. So we're kind of bummed. But, I mean, both of us have seen it before, so it's, I guess it's okay. But, um, anyway, we go and, uh, 
Jess is telling me about the show Wonderland, which is still in previews. It's pretty new. And I, obviously we went and saw it. I'm wearing the shirt. Where's my headphones? There we go. And, um, it was, it was fun. So we go to the box office. We're like, hey, do you have any rush tickets? And, um, they're like, yeah, we have a couple of front row seats for $32. Like, what? And so we definitely bought those. But then Jess had already seen Wonderland. And so we wanted to see something that neither of, of us had seen. So we go to the box office of this show called Baby It's You, starring Beth Level, who won a Tony Award for The Drowsy Chaperone, which she was in with Sutton. <laughs> that was weird to explain. And, um... So we're like, okay, you know, like, maybe it's you, okay. And, um, we go back to hang out at the stage door, uh, for, like, to wait for Sutton. And we see her, and I walk up, I'm like, hey, I'm Molly, I'm a big fan. And she's like, oh, cool, thank you, have you seen the show? And, um, Jess, she sees Jess behind me, she's like, oh, hi, Jess. And Jess is freaking out, because that's, like, the first time she's, like, verbally acknowledged that, son, like, what, she knows her name. And, but she's like, yeah, Molly, Molly's seen the show. She was the one who gave you the picture on your birthday. And she's like, oh, yeah, I have that in my house. Thank you so much. And I was like, ah, she kept my picture. And, um, so we show her our newspapers, and she thought the sticky notes were hilarious. And she loved it. <laughs> and, um, she signed... Our little thing, see, there it is, and then there's her, there's, yeah, so I'm still excited, and, um, I, you know, we were talking for a while, I was like, hey, can I get a picture, and she was like, sure, of course, and, um, I was like, can I hug you, <laughs> she's like, of course, I'll take all the hugs I can get. And so I got to hug Sutton Foster, and we took this picture. It's my new favorite picture. I love it. And, um, after that, um, we just did a ton of stuff. We walked around, we ate food, we walked to Central Park, sat on the West Bank, um, ate more food, um, and, um, uh, the shows that we saw, I'll tell you about those. Okay. So Wonderland. It's very campy, very cheesy. I loved it. It was so funny. And um, there's this boy band number. Like we're we're front row seats. And like we can literally like we just like did this and we were touching the stage. And so we we did that often. <laughs> and um there's this one boy band number. It's called One Night. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen on stage. It's hilarious. <laughs> and there's a part where like the guy who's singing it, he's got his arm around the lady playing Alice he's, he came over to stage left which was where we were sitting he looks straight at us like while he's singing <laughs> it was unmistakable because I mean we're in the front row he was probably thinking like stop laughing I'm trying to sing <laughs> it's ridiculous and um it was great then the lady who plays Queen of Hearts, she comes out and sings her song later. And she, like, the number itself has so many other references to other musicals, like The Music Man, Everything's Coming Up Rose, um, uh, Evita, like, all this stuff. <laughs> so funny. And so Jess and I are apparently the only ones who, like, got the references, so we're dying over in the corner. And, um, we're at the stage door later. And Karen Mason, the lady who plays Queen of Hearts, comes up, and we're like, oh my gosh, you did such a great job, it was fantastic. She's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> we say, we were in the front row. She's like, oh, were you were you on, on this side? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's pretty sad when, like, you're laughing so hard that the people on stage know where you were sitting. Yeah. But <laughs> it kind of made my day. And um, in the show, a woman plays the Mad Hatter. And, gosh, she is stunning. Her name is Kate Schindel. Wonderful, wonderful. And, um, 
Jess has already seen the show three times, and so she kind of knows Jess again. Like, Jess has connections. She doesn't even realize it. And so Kate goes through the stage door. I get her autograph. I'm like, ah! And um, then she goes to the side and talks with her parents for a while because her parents came to see the show or something. Then after most of the people have gone through the stage door, Kate comes back, like, stands right in front of us. She's like, hey, how are you? Like, looks just, like, in the eye. And we have a conversation. We're like, oh my gosh, we're talking to Kate Schindel. And that was really cool. Then, you know, we go do more stuff and have a blast. And we make it back to a different theater for Baby It's You. And neither of us knew anything about the show. It was great. It was so fun. And, um, there's, it's a girl, it's about a girl group called the Shirelles. Well, I said earlier it stars uh, Beth Level. And we love Beth Level. Sutton loves Beth Level. So, like, earlier, I'm probably mixing up the order of things, but I remember earlier, we, uh, when we were talking to Sutton, we're like, hey, we're gonna see Beth later today. And she's like, oh, cool, tell her I said hi. And so, um, Baby It's You was fun, and, uh, we were laughing again, <laughs> and, uh, but our seats weren't as good, so I don't think they could pinpoint us. And, um, so, we're at the stage door, and Beth comes out. She is the nicest person. I don't know what I expected, but she was so nice. And, um, so we take a picture with her, too, and tell her that Sutton said hi. And here's the picture. It made me so happy. And so, by now it's like 10.45. My bus leaves at 11, and the bus station is like four blocks away. And so... We take a picture, we say thank you, and we literally, like, run down the block screaming. <laughs> we're running because we have to catch my bus. We're screaming because we just met Beth Level. And so we're like, oh my gosh, Beth Level, that was so cool, she's so nice, here's the picture, look! And, like, I'm trying to, like, show her the picture while we're running, and it's not working, and it was, but it did, and then we screamed some more. <laughs> and, um, we get to the bus station, and it's like two minutes until my bus leaves and we like run up to my gate and then we wait in line for like ten minutes. We're like, really? Come on. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. And um oh, I'll show you her her signature. She um I could just show you a picture of it, but I don't feel like it. Um, okay. There's the cover and there's my zebra sheets. There's her little thing, that level. Ooh. There we go. Check her out. She is fierce. So, yeah, she's cool. She is a cool cat. So yeah, that's basically what went down on Saturday. So, ton of fun. And thank you for listening. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.